So what's happening, guys? Hope your day is going well. I just finished a training session. Chest day. As you can tell, I'm sweating a little bit here. Steamed up the car. Sat in here for five minutes getting the camera and everything ready. <laughs> and I, I, my body temperature must be up because everything just steamed up around me. I feel like I'm encapsulated in something. <laughs> I'm in the bubble. I'm in a bubble. Um, today, almost lost my train of thought. Today, we're going to review a supplement. This is N, an NMN supplement. This is by Black Forest Labs. NMN. This was sent to me. They got a hold of me about three months ago. I've been taking this for 12 days now. So if you're new to the channel, my name is David. This is my mission to muscle. I review supplements. I go over the ingredients and I go over the effects. And some supplements I'll run for three days, one day, two days. It just all depends on the supplement where I feel like I can deliver the best effects. And some I run for more like 20, 30 days. And this is going to be the one of those ones I run for 30 days, giving you guys the effects off of two videos. So this is a 12 day in first video on the effects and what I've experienced on a thousand milligrams of NMN. And NMN has come a long way. So I'd say about a year ago, you're going to find information. You would have found information where they didn't know if it increased the, uh, if it increased NAD plus levels in the body. They didn't know if it was a precursor. And over the year, all that stuff's been squashed. They know that it does increase NAD plus levels in the blood and certain organs, uh, injecting sometimes, but pill form and powder form does reach the bloodstream. And they have had studies in human trials to where it has increased NAD plus levels. What, uh, what are NAD plus levels? <laughs> so NMN is a precursor to NAD plus. I don't, yeah, it's to NAD+. Plus. I think it was to, to NADH, but it's to NAD+. Plus because if it was to NADH, then it would have to already have an electron and a proton attached to it. So, so NAD+, plus is probably one of the most important... I, don't, I think it's an enzyme in the body. And it works with over 500 other enzymes. We'll just call it a molecule. Most important molecule in the body. It really is. If we didn't have it... We would die. We'd just drop dead. So if somebody sucked out all our NAD plus levels, just boom, we'd just drop dead. That would just, that's it. Because it helps so many different processes in the body, energy production, metabolism, sleep. It's just, it's a carrier molecule. So in energy production, and that's why I wanted to take it, because I have the two jobs, I'm getting very low sleep, and I was looking for something to build up energy. And uh, go over the effects on this. But that's why I chose to do this review for you guys because not only because I promised I was going to review things, whether they were popular videos or not, are going to be popular videos, but just to give you guys information on anything I'm taking that I can give you guys an idea on energy, if it's worth it to spend your money, uh, stuff like that. So we'll get into the effects on this thing in 12 days. So, so NAD plus is a carrier molecule. And when it comes to glucose metabolism, uh, gly glycolysis. When glycolysis happens, glucose is broken down into two py pyrite molecules. So it, what happens there is in order for that to happen is NAD plus has to go in there and steal a hydrogen uh, molecule off of the glucose for that to happen. And when it does that, it collects an electron and a proton and it turns itself into NADH. So NADH then is transported into the cell to the main membrane and in the cell there's enzyme en enzymatic processes that are happening all the time in the cell which NA N NADH is being produced actually in the cell from the processes of building ATP already but NAD, uh, NADH NADH actually drops into the cell with this electron and this proton and it it starts to it drops the electron into the electron chain in the cell and and uh, delivers the proton, lets go of the proton. And what happens is there's a form of, what are they, it's a, an energy form that produces it. It's constantly doing this. And it's building up this internal energy within the cell. And it's building a whole crap load of ATP at the same time. So NAD plus is super important. But when NADH drops off those electrons and protons, it's turn back into NAD+. And this process has is, is started all over again. Now, this is happening with every cell in our body. NAD+, plus is all over the place. And as we age, 1% a year, NAD+, plus is supposed to drop. That's just kind of a number. I guess it's all going to depend on your health, too. So I'm a type 1 diabetic, and uh, I train a lot, which exercise is going to help your body naturally rebuild NAD+, plus, and also help with autophagy in the body, which is uh, getting rid of... Senescent cells. So there's 
some factors that can happen as far as NAD plus levels being low. Age can be a factor. So this will squash your energy if NAD plus levels are low and you're getting older. I'm 53. I'm noticing it, especially with the two jobs I have. I need that extra energy now. <laughs> There's guys that I see at the second job and they're like, ah, yeah, I got a 12-hour shift today. And I'm like, oh, man, <laughs> I'm getting old because I couldn't sit here on my feet for 12 hours lifting, pushing, pulling. <laughs> I, my feet were just hurting already at four hours, you know, so... Um, so age does play a factor in NAD plus levels as far as energy levels, cellular levels, and, and the mighty conjure the ATP production for sure. I know this for a fact. Um, and uh, other things that can happen is we can have too many senescent cells or damaged cells in our body. And what it is is usually cells are grouped together. So we have all kinds of groups together. They're clicks. They're clicks. They kind of like, you know, they got, they got this, little, this little like, uh, we're better than you over there, you group of cells. <laughs> so um, we, if you have a group of cells that are grouped together and you have some damaged cells in there that are secreting chemicals or uh, nutrients that are toxic out of the cell because the cell is damaged, it's going to damage the and infect the other cells around it, which is going to cause a whole buttload of damaged cells, which is going to cause an increase in an enzyme called CD38 from what I understand. Now, this is... Like I said, I'm not, a, I'm not a doctor for those that know me. I'm not a scientist. This is just information I've collected over the years. So CD38, in order for, if you get too much CD38 being produced in the body, I think it's 30, CD38, CD38 gobbles up NAD. So that's another way NAD can go low. So if, on a cellular level, if, you, if, if your body already has, your body does have a process of autophagy as far as repairing your cellular system by trying to get rid of old bad cells, repair cells. But if it's as we get older, if it if it's too fast, the body can't keep up with it. And all this process, all these processes slow down as we get older. So we get less of the repairing and stuff like that going on. And it's just not as fast and as quick. So CD38 will gobble up a bunch of NAD. So if you have uh, metabolic conditions or some kind of underlying condition, then we're on a cellular level then your NAD levels are probably being shot down. Now, there's two ways to go about, and if I was to design a supplement, I'd hit it on both ends myself, but there's two ways to go about NAD, uh, helping with NAD levels, pretty much, raising them up. And that's taking a supplement like NM, NM, NMN, like this one here. So, like, foot for us, got to show the product they sent to me. So, there are different ways to go about this, and you can do it on, you can catch... If you feel like you have metabolic conditions, you can use uh, apigenin and quercetin as far as natural ingredients. You just want to make sure that if you do go that route, you want to buy your apigenin and, your, or, and or your quercetin, quercetin with uh, liposome or phytosome, as, which is a delivery agent because they get broken down in the digestive system. And these delivery agents actually have are there encased in some type of a lipid that's similar to the cells. And it passes the digestive system and it's supposed to you know, get into the cell a lot a lot easier if you are taking those. So make sure, I almost lost my train of thought, make sure that it's a liposomal technology. So NMN has been studied to digest and raise NAD plus levels like it is. A lot of people talk about putting it underneath the tongue, taking it subliminally. I think that there's some kind of, there's a lot of overkill. People are so worried about aging that they're going to snort this or they're going to put it under their tongue. From my understanding of all the things I've read and all of the things I've heard, take the damn pill. Don't open it up. I don't care what product you're taking and put it underneath your tongue or anything like that. Just take the pill because the studies are out there that it, it digests and it turns, it raises NAD plus levels in the blood. Now, they don't know if it's going to raise NAD plus levels in the muscles. So we'll get into that. But there's a few things I have noticed 12 days in. That's what I want to get to right now. I hope that was enough information on NMN. If you guys have any questions and you want me to dive a little bit deeper, then go ahead and leave a comment down below. And on my next video, you know, the final video, maybe I can address those questions as far as, you know, finding that information for you. So what I have noticed in 12 days, I started taking one gram a day 12 days ago. Four to five days in, I started to notice an underlying energy. Okay, now this is not caffeine. So what I mean by that is, uh, I there's no like it doesn't like take the cloudiness away. It does nothing like caffeine. But this is what I can tell how I can describe the energy. Okay, 
I was waking up and groggy for, you know, the, before I started taking this. Like, I would just reach for caffeine right away. Like, I would just, the grogginess wouldn't go away. There's no, was no pick me up. You know, because when you're younger, if you're in your 20s watching this, when you're younger, you could pop out of bed sometimes, you know, and you're just like, boom, you just get up and get going. When you get older, you, you pop out of bed <laughs> and you sit there and you go, okay, I got to get up, <laughs> you know. So, um, but I was getting really bad, you know, working the two jobs and being freaking tired with four hours of sleep. So what I noticed was as far as energy levels is I popped out of, I was popping out of bed. And ever since that fourth or fifth day, it's just increased up into this twelfth day. Now it's peaked. Now I'd say the last the last two days or three days, there's nothing more. Like there's no like over energy. There's no more energy as far as that wake me up type thing. I have noticed sleep a little bit better, just a tad bit better. Um, I think that has to do with shutting down and getting back up. It just feels better now because I'm not like, you know, I, 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 I can't really say it's helped with sleep, but it feels like it has. And I think it has a lot to do with the waking up portion about it. Now, one thing I have noticed over after taking it for about, Jesus, I just have four days ago. So that was like eight days. No, maybe five. Let's say five days ago. So taking it seven days, I noticed that my metabolic rate has gone skyrocketed. So I sweat my freaking butt off at work. I mean, drenched. Like, I mean, I'm not like lifting weights. I'm just constantly moving. But as I'm constantly moving, my metabolic rate is just crazy. And I have to take candy with me or glucose pills with me because my blood sugars just keep dropping. So it has promoted some insulin sensitivity pretty good size insulin sensitivity in me as I'm moving as a type 1 diabetic. So this would be a great ingredient to take for type 2 diabetics, for people with metabolic conditions, people aging, if they're looking for some underlying energy. I would recommend though hitting it from both ends if you're like my age and get some uh, epigenin or some quercetin. So either one, you don't have to stack both of them on there to handle any kind of CD8 levels as far as them increasing to kind of lower those at the same time when you're trying to increase NAD levels. That's the way I would design a product with because that just seems like the, the smart thing to do there rather than just raising NAD levels. If you've got tons of CD8, it's going to come here and gobble them all up. So, and I'll be doing, uh, I'll be running a uh, pigment at one time. Uh, or probably that's the one I'm going to choose. Um, type 1 diabetics like myself. I'm going to run this straight through, but I'm going to tell you right now, this will make you insulin sensitive. So you do have to watch how you exercise and how your glucose levels are now. But it's only going to make you insulin sensitive with the presence of insulin. So what I do notice is in the morning, I take this right when I wake up in the morning. So get into that too. How do you take this? You take this on an empty stomach, they say. So right when I wake up, two pills. My blood sugar rises about 20 minutes after that. With no glucose, I mean, I didn't, no carbs, no food in me whatsoever. I've, I've been fasting during the day because um, because it's so hard to eat and and everything with the, just with my schedule right now. So I, I've worked everything out to where I can still you know, build muscle, spare muscle, have energy, and I eat at a certain in a certain time frame. So with that said, take this in the morning, empty stomach, either one or two pills if this if you decide to purchase this one. So type 1 diabetics, you, the, I've looked online. They've done no research on type 1 diabetics. But I'm going to tell you right now, from my research, <laughs> from my experience, I'm enjoying the energy levels. I'm enjoying all that stuff. But after I take the two pills in the morning, with that blood sugar rise, you have to be ready for it. Because I'll go from 100 to 220. So it, it'll, it'll, it'll spike. And I don't know why because I can't find any research on it. But I'm assuming it's just NAD. If it's, it's raising the NAD plus levels and NAD's going in there just like pulling, you know, glucose out of like stores and just kind of metabolizing it, you know, and breaking it down and sending it, trying to send it into the cells. And there's, I don't have any insulin in me at that point. So there's nothing to help it get into the cells. So, of course, when I give myself a shot, then everything's fine. But... The insulin sensitivity you do have to watch out for after the shot. So you do have to kind of adjust your shots a little bit. So if you're giving yourself, you know, three units for something, you might want to do two. So there is not like a gigantic difference, but there is a difference in the insulin sensitivity. So this is my review 
I hope it was helpful. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I feel like I'm all over the place sometimes. I'm trying to give you guys as much information as I can, but I got to get going. Uh, my wife's gonna. I got to go. We got to go to the store and buy food for dinner. So and it's like four o'clock right now, and I got to come in take 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 a nap. After I eat and go off to work. So, you guys have a fabulous night. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the video. It does help the channel. This is Dave. And this is the Mission to Muscle. We'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful night.